Welcome back to another four-way commander game. Today, I am playing Sharoom, the Hegemon. And I am returning to Rashmi and Ragavan. I have the Mimeoplasm, who is tribal. Derevi, Imperial Tactician. Oh. <coughs> you got mine? Yep. Okay. I shuffled now. What will we get? Indeed, what will we get? I just mailed one. This one? Okay. Can I roll to go first? Eight. Eight, five, and three. Eight. Six seven, and seven. Oh, 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 I got my lucky number. Sixteen. Oh, hey, damn. Hey. Not a winning number. We're good. Turn yeah, one. Turn one. On top, upkeep draw. I will play an Opalin Palace. Comes into play tapped and pass. Draw. Land for turn is going to be an island. Pass. On tap, upkeep draw. I'll play a command tower. I'll tap the command tower for a white. Play Dispeller's Capsule. It's an artifact that I can sacrifice to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Play Forest. Uh, I'll have to pass. Okay, untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a Forest myself. Untap 2. For an ooze garden. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Alright, draw. And the turn's gonna be an island. Pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. <coughs> Land per turn will be a swamp. I'll tap two. Play Hovermere. It is a 1 2 flying vigilance. And I'll pass. Untap up your draw. Okay. Another forest. Oh, I haven't swapped out some arts. So you're going to have to put up with it. Tap 2 for Gruel Signet. Pass. Okay. <coughs> Tap. Draw. I will play another forest and pass. I will draw. I will play an island. I'll tap three. For Trinket Mage, two, two. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card with converted mana one or less. So I'm looking for the ring. Uh, search your library for an artifact one or card. Put it into your hand. All right, I'm going to pass. Well, I'm going to shuffle, and then I'm going to pass. Untap. Land return is an island. I'm going to tap a white, a black, and a blue. For Kingpin's pet, it's a 2-2 flying with extort. I don't have the money to... The money, the mana to extort. <laughs> we'll the money really to taking the extortion <laughs> part, huh? A little bit. Uh, there you go. <laughs> um, who has creatures out? No, I just have an enchantment. I got a two-two. I'm going to swing at you for one in the air. All right. Whee! 
First blood. I will pass my turn. First blood. And, uh, I'll keep drawing. You want to cut? Another forest. You good. Yep. Tap the forest into here for two. Four. Forsake the horizon. <coughs> Search the library for up to three basic lands. He's Reveal ramping. Them. Put them into your hand, then shuffle. He's ramping. Two islands and a mountain. You get three from that? Yeah, they, but they go to my hand. Map shuffle. Anybody want to cut? Oh, God. Your turn. Tab up, keep draw. Ooh. I would tap two. Sadly, think I know who that is. For a corrosive ooze. Two, two. <coughs> and I will pass. Alright, I'm tap up, keep. Draw. Land per turn is going to be an island. I'm going to tap. I mean, not an island, a plains. Fucking looking at three islands. Uh, I'm going to tap an island for a solar ring. And then I will tap one, two, three for Shalai, Voice of a Plenty. Flying, 3-4, you, Planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control up Hexproof. Uh, for 2 green and 4, I can put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. Somebody just drew a target on their back. Can I read this card? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody uh, just drew a target. <laughs> Shalai, Voice of Plenty. S-H-A-L-A-I. Well, Shalai, yo. It was fun while it lasted. The hell? <laughs> Damn it. So, one, four? Three, four. Three, four. And then, uh, because you have blockers. What do you, how big, are you, how big is your blocker? It's a one. I have a one, two, and a two, two. Uh, what do you got over here? Two, two. All right, Sean, I'm swinging at you for two. Just two normal? Yeah, two normal, yeah. I mean, you are ramping over there. Well, he's the only one that's open. <laughs> Let me pass. One tip. <coughs> I'll keep. Draw. Lamp turns an island. I'm going to tap. Three. To play a Quicksilver Fountain. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player puts a flood counter on target non-island they control. Yes! That land is an island as long as it has a flood counter on it. Yes! At the end of turn, if all lands are in play are islands, remove all flood counters from them. Basics only, or...? Wait, so what does that do? So when it's my turn, this is an island. Yep. And at the end of your turn, if all your lands are islands, you remove all flood counters. Is it only basics? Lands. Is it only basic? No, it's all lands. All lands, period. Well, yeah, you put you put the flood counter on the lands. Is there all the islands, and then that card dies? Yeah. No. Okay. All the flood counters go away, and then it starts over That's again. That's the restart the cycle. Yeah. And what's Quick that? Silver fountain. That's an enchantment? It's an artifact. Well, I know what artifact to get rid of that. <laughs> so everything is just an island now? No. I'll demonstrate after I move to my corner. I mean, I don't mind the islands that much. But... I mean, we, can, we all play blue. Yeah, but that's a third of... Yeah. Um, a third of my deck. I'm going to pass my turn. Say goodbye to so the, the end of your turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, have any flood counters on any of my islands because the flood counters go on at the beginning of the upkeep. Oh, beginning of upkeep. So, I, so on top. Upkeep. Put a flood counter on one of your lands. 
put a flood counter on a land, it will be this one. That doesn't already have a flood counter on it. That doesn't have a flood counter on it. And it's got to be a non-island as well. Okay. So you can't put a flood counter on Draw. it. Draw. No, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, I see. Island. <laughs> yeah, it's about to get slippery. Four. Wilderness Reclamation. At the beginning it's of my end, mechanic, I guess. Beginning of my end step, all my lands on top. I'll end my turn and everything on tabs. Uh, my upkeep. <coughs> pink dice. I'll just, we'll just use these for flood counts. And to draw. Table upkeep draw. I will play. Yeah, swamp. And then four. Two black. A necrotic ooze. It is a 4 3. As long as it's on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all creature cards in all graveyards. I have no creatures in graveyards. I have no creatures yet. And I will pass. Alright. Untap. Upkeep. Put a flood counter. counter. Put a flood counter on my planes. Draw. You have a proper island out, Joe? Um, no. Why? Because you put it on a non-island. There's going to be a place. You can't put it on an island. You can't put it on an island. My land return yeah. is going to be a plains. And then. It's kind of screwed up. <laughs> I will pass. On tap, during my upkeep, <coughs> the swamp gets the flood counter. And then I go to draw. Lambert Turn is an island. Two for an arcane signet. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass my turn. So on top, upkeep, flood counter. This forest, <coughs> draw, <coughs> island, so I will tap one, two, three, into this, so it'll be three, four, five, six, for Skyclave Relic, kicked. So I get uh, two extra tokens of them. They tap for any color. What is it? Skyclave Relic. Three, kicker three, indestructible. When it's battlefield, if it was kicked, create two tapped tokens that are copies of it. So they come in tapped. Uh, Tap, add one mana of any color, so I can only use one. One. Oh, uh, okay. So but it's have, like three mana rocks. Yeah, but I, uh, I can only use one overall. Right. Uh, I'm gonna have to end my turn, and everything untaps because of my. Yeah, that was just your lands, that artifact. Oh, yeah, stuff. that's right, right, my lands. Sorry. Untap. It's all in my, my upkeep, right. I will make this swamp a island. Okay. Okay. Two two islands now. Then I will draw. Then, since I didn't draw, so that's when it's all all your islands are all your lands are islands. But at the end of 
tur- at the end of your turn. Okay. So I was about to say, if this all will, lands in play, this will turn. Well, if all lands in play, if all lands in play, if all lands in so play, we have to wait for all the remove lands all in flood play. counters from them. Okay. Yeah. That's what I. Thought. So we have to wait for everybody. I did, I'm just missing land drops over here, but uh, I can play two forests, four total for this bio waste blob. Oozes I control gets one plus one, and at the beginning of my upkeep, I control my commander, make a copy of bio waste blob. <coughs> uh, Ripley, what do you have for blockers over there? Two, two flying, one, two flying. You have a 2 2 flying, you said? Yeah. I'm just going to give it a 4 3. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. I'll pass. That's for the flood counters. Is that it? You done? Yeah. Alright, I don't need to up, untap, uh, upkeep. I put a flood counter here. In response to you putting your flood counter onto the island, put the flood counter to make that an island. You're going to sacrifice it. I'm going to tap three to sacrifice, tap and sacrifice to Speller's Capsule to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Like uh, so at an instant speed, I'm going to negate that counter target non-creature spell. I'm not casting it. It's not hard to oh, shit. So now we're stuck with flood, flood counters. counters. You're a cock. Coop's <laughs> got all out of the time. Um... So uh, what happened because you did that? Alright. The artifact is destroyed now. We're stuck with flood counters. So It says that. on it, put a flood count. Uh, that player puts a flood counter yeah, on target, non island, he or she trapped. controls. That land is an island as long as it has a flood counter on it. Oh, even so this mm-hmm. leaves play. Oh, okay. We're trapped. Alright, so I didn't draw, so I'm going to draw. <laughs> you rat bastard. All right, I'm going to play a Plains. I'm going to tap one, two, two islands, and a soul ring for Fire Mind Vessel. It enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it, add two manas of different colors. And then... What do you got for blockers, Mike? Two, two, one, two. Flying. Both, go flying. Both go flying? Yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, that was actually I'm five damage. I'm gonna swing damage. at you three, four. It was five damage? Yeah. I'm swinging at you for three. Flying. I fly. Three flying? Yeah, three, four. One, two, three. It's deserved. <clears throat> and then I will pass. On tip. They don't have any creatures in here. No. Draw. Number turn is a swamp. See, it's on my target now, right? Three. Four. Five. That's white. I'm going to play Tefri's Moat. When it comes into play, choose a color. I'm going to choose green. Creatures of the chosen color without flying. Can't attack me. So green creatures without flying can't attack so me. So if it's green with flying, it can't attack you. Yeah. Okay. There's not many green cars that flying. <laughs> well, Derevi's green, but he's flying. You think I have a necrotic? I believe you all share green, and yeah, that was my I reason. I do have, but necrotic. most of my deck is flying. So. Joe, I'm gonna swing you for one. You got flying defense? Nope. I'm gonna swing you I'm for also one open air. flying right now. If you watch the deck tech, all I have is Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Which is blue, right? <laughs> and no, it's the one card in the deck that I gets think I have flying. Wonder, too. Um, <coughs> Nothing need that. In the deck flies, I'll so. pass. Untap. <coughs> no upkeep oh, this geez. time. I should have fucking countered that. I thought it was a creature. No. There are three of these. Huh. That I can use. I thought it was a creature. Mountain. So, let's. Tap one. To 
get the Ashman Ragavan out. Then we'll... One and a green. The other two. The age of the Nevo. He's rapping. Yeah, he had all the uh, color mana production works. Yeah, that's why I had to do it the way I did. Because these tap for any colored mana. Right. These are technically islands right now. And they are just green and the blue and colorless. I, I've just missed the past I, three lane draws. That's why I was doing it the way I did that's it. That's fine. <sighs> then I have one colorless open for nothing. So I'll pass my turn. I have one untapped Skyclave Relic and every all my lands untapped. Yeah. Turn down. I will untap my islands. I will upkeep and draw. Nice. this which I temporarily thrown in the deck a dire sage oh that's a pretty good call and uh, what do you have for blockers Ripley what color is the creature you're swinging at me with? mono black mono black I have a 2-2 two -two flying and a 1-2 flying so that'll be <coughs> a 5-4 <five>, mono <coughs> black <coughs> You're showing at me with a 5-4? Yeah. And I pass. Alright. On top. Necrotic Ooze. I've got five islands. Oh. Okay, yeah. Alright, draw. Alright. Would you just look at that? Land for turn's gonna be an island. <laughs> <laughs> During, oh yeah, that's not out anymore, sorry. Yeah. For the time so being. So I have six islands and one plains. I think Don't what even I... Don't have your green. He doesn't. I do He's through got here. colored mana through there, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. I had two mana of different colors. So I can... Uh, one, two, three. Four. Five. I'm gonna use white through here to play Sun Scorch Regent. Four three flying. Whenever opponents cast a spell, put a one one counter on Sun Scorch Regent, and you gain one life. And then I still have. Technically, I have a green floating from here, and then I have all blue. So, with a green and a blue, I'm gonna use green, blue, and tap. My soul ring for two colorless to play Rashmi Eternity's Crafter. 2 3. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's non land with converted mana cost less than that spells, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast the revealed card, put it into your hand. And now, um, Joe, you got any flying defense? Yep. No? Nope. Alright, I'm swinging at you for three. And then, uh, Sean, what do you have for blockers? Well, Commander and Atrix and Nev. How big are they? My commander's a 2-4, and Adrix and Nev is a 2-2. Two, two. Alright, um, I'm probably just going to swing at Joe for 3, and then I will pass. Okay, I'm taking it. I have to. Untap. 
A deep <coughs> draw. White, black. Three, four, five. Uh, blue. Four, five, six. <coughs> I'm play Shroom, the Hegemon. Shroom? Right. Uh, he gets plus one, plus one, and I gain a life. When he comes into play, I may return target artifact card from my graveyard to play. The Flood one? Yeah. Starting the Flood cycle again? Yeah. Did you... Wow. Um, I can <laughs> negate it, right? Counter it? Counter... You can counter my commander, but yeah, you wouldn't okay, I'll get, negate you. you. Wouldn't you wouldn't get the counter. This one I thought I was. That's fine. Clear. I'll only get your commander. Well, you got the counter in life, didn't you? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll take the life away too, yeah. So, um, this is when it's cast. So now your commander costs more to cast next turn, right? It doesn't say successfully cast. So I cast <clears throat> the spell. So that trigger does go off, so that does happen, and you can still counter it. Okay. No, okay. It says whenever a player casts, not successfully casts. You did cast it, and then I countered it. Correct. Yeah, so, all right. What is it? Hmm? Negate. That's counter-target non-creature spell, though, isn't it? What's negate? Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ, I can't even do that, then. Does that say non-creature yeah, spell? Yeah, it's, it's, non, it's target non-creature spell. I was trying to negate your fucking... Man, that's that's, that's, what that's was... an ability of what yeah, the battlefield. Yeah. All right. So that all still happens. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Pass my turn. Until all these come back to me, so I have three to use. Now I have to do flood again. Can I land before? Well, no. no, I can't. Cause it's darn out cute. Okay. So I'll make this island. Oh, this mountain island. I'll keep draw. Temple of Abandon, I just tapped, I get to scry. I will keep that. And then I will <coughs> for three Academy Manufacturer. He cast a spell. Okay, yep. Yeah. And since that's my first spell per turn, I get a treasure. And because of Atrix and Nev, I get two. And because of a uh, Academy Manufacturer, I get a treasure, food, and clue. And because of Atrix and Nev, I get, I get two of each. So... <clears throat> Treasures, foods, and my Deadpools are foods. And I got two of each. Where's my, where's the two on this? Two wow. treasures, two clues. <laughs> and I got two yummy Deadpools. I will, for the Rashmi trigger, now that I have all my stuff out uh let's go for the top of rip's library it's an arcane laboratory it's a three Wee. mana enchantment each player cannot play more than one spell each turn we're getting nerfed each player so that's everyone even you i may play that spell i will not so that stays in the yes turn. yes Boy, you you that fun. spell <laughs> <laughs> Get that out of here. And then I will... It's bad enough we got <coughs> flood counter. I will use two <laughs> treasures. To sack a clue. To draw a card. That's how clues work. 
two mana yeah. sack. Two mana yeah. sack draw card. And then I will green and two. I will deconstruct your floodmaker. <coughs> Floating three green. Nice. Huge. Thank you. <laughs> He's gonna bring it back again. <laughs> Uh, I will crack open a story it, target artifact, Chiron. Wow. It creates another that treasure. Is it an artifact creature? That Chiron's going to cost like nine mana. No, he's only got blown up once because mine didn't counter him. Yeah. And let's see. You Swinging power going on right now. A Skyclave Relic. To tap into here. It's getting spicy. And sack a treasure for three for spring. Search your library for a basic land, land card, put into the field tap, shuffle. Basic mountain. Basic uh, mountain comes into play tapped. I have to shuffle. <coughs> Anybody want to cut me? We're all gonna die. We all might die. I have two of any color. Vision. I'll end my turn. Your turn, Joe. My vision. It's a triggered ability. It's not an active. <coughs> it's a triggered Whenever ability. Whenever an opponent casts it has a spell. Flying. That's an activated ability. No, that's not. That's not. That's it's a static. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> static. Okay, so I don't get a flood counter. Nope. Okay. Just gonna play three, no, four. For Orky Jelly. Orky Jelly? Orky Jelly. And I paid three into the X. So to come to play with three one one counters. How big is it? It's a four four trample. When it dies, it's gonna split. I'm gonna split. I'm gonna pass. Alright, untap. Upkeep. Draw. I'm going to tap one. I'll tap this for green and white. <coughs> and a blue. So I have one white floating from here. I'm gonna play Derevi. Um, when Derevi enters, I can untap something. I'm gonna untap Firemind Vessel. Oh, and also I draw a card from Rashmi. Uh, if it's a permanent with a converted mana cost. Yeah, I know. I can't use it right now. It's not a permanent. It's not a permanent. And yeah. it's CMC isn't less than... Well, it's CMC is one, but it's not a... You play it for free. Yeah, but I don't want to. Right now. Um, so... I still have one floating from this earlier, and then I untapped it. So I'm going to tap this again for white and green. So I have two white and a green from that. So I'll use one white, one green, one blue, and one colorless. For Stoic Angel, Flying Vigilance, players can untap more than one creature during their untap steps. Um... And then I still have a white. I still have a white from here, and then three blue. And two colorless. Um, Is that including you, too? What? Players can't untap. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm just yeah. going to use Derevi to untap all my creatures but before still my untap. You can only untap yeah, them. but I'm going to make sure whatever I swing with, I just untap. Um, yep. So, who's going to want for flyers? I have a 2-2 two, two and a 1-1. One, one. I have one two as well. It was a 2-2. Two, two. Alright, I'm going to swing at... I'm going to swing at uh, Sean for 8, flying. And then I'm going to swing at Joe for three flying. And 
and then they're gonna tap, untap, tap, untap, and then I'm going to pass. Untap. Only one creature, yeah. Upkeep, draw. And all my creatures have X proof. One, <coughs> two, <coughs> Flencher Might, J11 one, one, with Infect and Lifelink. Hmm. I'll pass. Untap. Upkeep draw. Smith Grope Chamber. Enters tapped. I have to bounce a land to my hand. It will be this card with the flood counter on it. Haha. Uh -huh. That card may come back. You never know. He got rid of a flood counter. He did. <clears throat> he had to bounce a land. Oh, yeah. Good idea. It was good, Rocky. I just blew up my lines. I'm just missing line drops. He's still four lines. Two, three. I oh, got a pretty good four down now. Four. Sharding Sphinx. How many creatures did you want to have? What? How many creatures did you want to have? None. The Sharding Sphinx? None. None. Okay. None. Nothing sharding? attacked. Nothing. Okay. I'm, go I'm going mainly sharding. off of there. What? Yeah, Sharding Sphinx is pretty good, though. <laughs> uh, Sharding Sphinx. Uh, oh, four so four. He doesn't have haste though. Charging. But that is the first spell per turn, so I get two treasures. I think everyone has a pretty full. I'm gonna get right another now. two clues, so I'll be, be at shame. three. I'll be <laughs> at four foods. It would be a shame. <laughs> Red, blue, colorless. Colorless. Cutthroat. Ne uh, negotiator. 4-3 uh, with parlay. Whenever Cutthroat Negotiator attacks, each player reveals the top card of their library. For each non-land card revealed this way, you create a tapped treasure token. Uh, then each player draws a card. Yeah. It's an 11-10 now. So that happens when it attacks or something? Yes. Uh, your turn. Yeah. And my end step. Everything. Oh, my land's on top. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> I'll keep draw. Hey. Hey, Forrest. Gonna tap five for a gutter grime, and that will pass. All right, on top. I'll keep just a gutter grime. Draw. Nothing fancy. I will tap this for a green and a white. I will play, I will use one of the greens and a blue for colorless to play explore. Uh, draw a card. Oh, because Rashmi triggers. Uh, if it's a non-land, it's a land. So I can't play it, but I can put it in my hand. But you may play an additional land each turn on this turn. And I didn't even play a land per turn, so I'm going to play it. Azorius Chancery. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, return a land you control to, it, to its owner's hand. Floodlands. Yeah, so I'll return one of these. 
bouncing floodlands. And I can play an additional land per turn, so I can play my planes. So now I have three planes, because I have one through here. And then I have four islands. Oh, and I didn't draw a card off of uh, that. I Correct. just did the thing, so I'm going to draw my card for that. I'm going to tap a soul ring and a blue for mana lith. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. So now I have all of my colors. Swing 12 at Joe. Fly. What? I'm going to swing. What? Nine flying. Is that twelve Sean. flying at me? Yeah. Twelve flying. Yeah. Twelve flying at you from this guy, and then I'm gonna swing at Sean for nine flying. The twenty-one. And then they all the all my cards these two and these two tap and untap. I'll take the nine, but. By sacrifice paying six and sacrificing three foods, I'll go back up to nine. Okay, you pay food two for life. to uh, gain three. Okay. So I would have taken it and then gone back up. So when you take two, you pay three. Or you... I, I pay two to gain three. Yeah. Okay. What, what made you untap your creatures? Derevi. What's, what's Derevi say? Whenever it deals combat damage to a player. When it enters. Damage. Whenever Derevi enters the battlefield or a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may untap or untap target permanent. So okay. each of my creatures that deal damage, deal damage can, can okay. just be untapped. Okay. He can essentially have them have vigilance. It's pretty nice. Um. I will pass. You could also tap you out for mana in case you have answers. Untap, upkeep, draw. This will backwater enters tapped and I gain a life. Wait, we only get to untap one land? One creature. Oh, just one creature. What entered? A land. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not contributing to that damn dragon. I'll pass. Untap. Three of these, technically. Upkeep draw. We'll play another actual <coughs> door. Oops. For one, Triton Shore Stalker. Can't be blocked. That's first spell. So I get two. Wait, did he play something? Yeah, I played yeah. a creature. Uh, that would be up to five. That would be up to... Thirteen, twelve. Three. Uh, let's go for the top of your library, Coop. Kadama's Reach. I don't need to play that. I can stay in exile. Okay. I will sacrifice four treasures... To sacrifice two clues <clears throat> to draw two cards. Wow, really? We'll tap two of the Skyclave relics to.
sack a clue and draw a card. Tap that out to tap this. Uh, tap out the Skyclave Relics to tap the Signet for a scrap work mutt. It's another spell. I'm going to 20 on them at this point. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who has well for flyers? Mm. A giant dragon? I've got a 14, 13, a 2, 3... I've got a 3-4 nah, and another 3-4. I have a 1-2 one, two, and a 2-2. Two, two. But all my creatures Giant are hexproof. dragon. Uh, Joe, 4? <laughs> <laughs> I've done nothing this game. <laughs> uh, Joe, I'll just put you out next heal. Yeah, Please. <laughs> he'll spawn I've done nothing. a 1-1 one, one Thopter. But because of Adrix and Nev, it'll be two one one thoughts. <laughs> okay, so I'm at, I've missed like twenty land drops. <laughs> two one ones. And my turn and the one island I use will untap. <coughs> okay, untap. I'll keep draw. The, uh, when the Orkry uh, jelly came in, yeah. it evolves my uh, gyro stage. It's stronger. That did that did happen some time ago. Long time ago. Two things I don't want. Is there any, is there any creatures in the graveyard? Be good on that. Right I have now. no creatures in the graveyard. I have no creatures in the graveyard. Um, I should probably look. No. Okay. Two and tap five for a metonic slime, which will evolve my sage. My tonic. You. Yeah. All of my shit. When it dies, I get two two twos. When the two two dies, they become two one one. So it just keeps coming back. It's reverse leaf reform. Alright. I'm just gonna pass. Alright. And hope that no one attacked me again. Upkeep. Untap, upkeep. Draw. My lamp return is gonna be a forest. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah. I'm going to I'm just gonna swing out. I'm going to swing fifteen at Sean. With what are you swinging with? Flying this guy. I'll double block it with two flying one ones. They'll die. Doesn't have trample, does it? No. Um. So I'm also going Tap to. Tap because she's not going to untap. Yeah. So I'm going to swing Derevi and I'll swing nine at Ripley. Which creatures? Three, two, three. No, eight. Two, three, three, four, three, four. The Stoic Angel and this, uh, Oh, no, it does deal combat damage because it killed his creature, so it doesn't tap. It dealt combat damage. To a player, right? It doesn't have to be any combat damage in general. Whenever, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, oh. so it doesn't tap. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I thought it was Um, so what do you want to do with your three that are coming at you? Six, seven, eight. 
How much was it? Eight, yeah. Two, three, eight. All right. They all have flying, right? Yeah, they all have flying. You good? No. Um. No. I guess I can tap. To put a 1-1 one, one on each creature you control from this. Wow. So. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to tap a blue. <laughs> and tap this for a green. <laughs> to play bio shift. <laughs> and put it all <laughs> to this guy. What is Ten, happening? Two, three, so plus four, five. five. <laughs> so he's gonna be a seven. He's gonna be a twenty-one, twenty-two. You already tapped though, didn't you? He did. So he's at plus what? seventeen. Oh, so it permanently does it. It's not until end of turn. Yeah. I thought it was until end of turn. Bio shift. I thought it only did one shot of plus one. I used to have a bio shift. Can I read that? Move that any number drop, of yeah. plus one plus one counters from target creature to onto another target. That's the one drop. You yeah. can only do that from one creature to that uh, creature, not from all those creatures. Okay, all right. I used to have that in here. All right, so I'm gonna do. It's a little cheeky. I'm gonna guy. do one from this guy. Yeah. And then everyone else gets. Their plus one plus one counter. Yeah. All right, and then I pass because I can't do anything else. Wow. My bio just, shift goes to the graveyard. Tap, upkeep, draw. And then for turn, there's a swamp. One white, black, blue, six, seven, Whoa. eight. Whoa. Shroom. Oh, just for, for the hegemon. That was like a talk. You got day. a counter? You have a response? No. One shroom enters the battlefield. I do, I swear. Oh, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. I sure uh, do. One shroom enters the battlefield, I return target artifacts from my graveyard to the battlefield to play. Quicksilver Fountain comes back in. We're getting flood counters again, boys. I yeah. knew it was coming back. Coop, I'm going to swing at you with a 1 1 flinch in my chut infect and lifelink. Uh, is it fly? No. Probably just block it with the trinket mage. Gets a minus one, minus one counter on it. Oh, okay. So it stays alive? Yeah, but I gain a life. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. That's all I can do. On top. Flood counter. Three. Upkeep, flood, counter, drop, snow covered mountain, tap of blue, the girl signet, for a simic signet, that's uh, for a spell per turn. So I got. You got a trigger off of that. Two treasures. I got two more clues, so we got four. Got two more foods. What do you have for flyers? Uh, just the one. And then I'll be at five food. And then I'll go for the top of your deck again. Uh, cool. Sorry. Uh, ponder. What's ponder again? Look at the top three cards of your library, then put them back in any order. You may shuffle your library, draw a card. Uh, no. Good old ponder. Okay. 
So when I put them back, I don't have to shuffle. No. Yeah, it says you may, yeah. Okay. You may shuffle your life. Uh, I will cast Ponder for one, because I definitely have more than one Does out. Does that go to my graveyard? Uh, yeah. yeah. Edge cast goes to the graveyard. Oh. Uh, okay, good. Good. Good, 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 good. So, that's top three. Draw a card. For three. Plain equip Blood Force Battle Axe onto the Sharding Sphinx. Uh, plus two, plus O. Oh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a token of it. Doesn't automatically equip the token, though. No, it does not. I have Ajax and Nev out, so I will be creating two tokens. Right. Who has what for flyers? I have a 5-5, five, five, a 2-2, two, two, and a 1-2. 18-17. <laughs> just a <laughs> just, giant dragon. Just a year. 18-17. 3-4, 4-5, 4-5. Just a giant dragon. <laughs> Who? One unblockable. I'm going to, at an instant speed, to have one white to condemn that creature. So... Put a t target attacking creature on the bottom of its owner owner's library. Its controller gains life equal to its toughness. Okay, so that will be one. Wow. Great. It looks like we're there. Yeah. It's on the stack, though. I will have... Did you get more proc off of the Blood Forge Battle Axe when you played it? Huh? When he played Blood Forge Battle Axe. Oh, no, I didn't. You're right. Joe, six in the air. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> so, since that is... I went back to the poor <laughs> Mihio <medieval> possum. <laughs> that would be... What Two, the hell? <laughs> one, one, flying thopters, and that will be two copies of the Blood Force Battle Axe. Well, that was flying six, right? Yeah, flying six. Okay. I. It's. How much to equip? Two? So. For four, equip the two afterwards. Did you do a flood counter? You did. Yep. I just have long turns. Two, get rid of a clue counter as I get rid of. <coughs> so I can draw one. Wow. <coughs> Two, clue, draw. Two, Leave, leaving one Skyclave relic open. Another clue, draw. And then two. Leaving no Skyclave relics. Draw. Oh boy. Your turn. Untap. The end, I untap. Upkeep. Put a foot counter on a non island. Yep. So now I have three islands. Yay. <laughs> Draw. I am going to tap the gyre sage for two floating green. One of those will be an experiment one. Here. And another one of those. And two. Actually, we'll do four for an 
acidic slime blowing up your flood thing. Yay! I did something and that will evolve experiment one into experiment two. That's it. I will pass. Alright. <clears throat> On top. Okay. Draw. Lamp return is going to be a forest. I'm going to. Joe, I'm going to swing at you for 11. Flying. Thanks for taking me out. And I'm going to swing at Ripley for 21 flying. With what creatures <laughs> will um, drop with that? Okay, well, it still deals combat damage to everything on the taps. And then I pass. Yay. Untap. <coughs> Upkeep. Draw. <coughs> Lamp return. There's an island. Tap one. Oh, you know what? I didn't take the two from the two things that Joe put in last time. Two, three. Boom. Play Battle Mastery. It's an enchantment. I'm going to enchant Sharoon with Battle Mastery. Gives him double strike. What you got for a fight over there, Sean? I got two one one thopters. <coughs> so I'm going to at least chunk block. I'll, I'll, doesn't have I'll pass. <sighs> On top, this has two extras on it. Well, overall three. Those are the opters. Sitting down taps. These are at three. Upkeep, no more flood counters. For the time being. Draw. Forest. Everything you have has flying coop. Uh, no, not everything. Rashmi doesn't, and Trinket Mage doesn't. They all have hexproof, though. Yeah, they all have hexproof. It doesn't matter if my blanket targets like everything without flying. Mm. Cyclone Uh, use a Skyclave Relic to tap a Simic Signet for a Stryonic Resonator. Which is? Uh, to tap copy triggered ability you control and you may choose your targets. What is that? Multiply. It's, it's an artifact. Creature. It's an artifact. Yeah, it's an artifact. I can negate that. Counter target non creature spell. But are you going to do that? Yes, I am. Why would I not? So, does that count as being cast? Yeah. If he negates it? Yeah. You cast it and then I it cast does, it. That ability goes I, off. I need to know for first spell. Yeah, for he, ca me. he casts it. Because it wasn't successfully cast, I don't think that that. That was the first spell it got cast. It got realized that it got yeah, cast. Yeah, I don't think Rashmi will pop. Yeah. Well, Let Rash me see what Rashmi says. Whenever you cast your first spell yeah, during... it doesn't have to be successful. You can cast it and it gets countered. He's still casting it. It happens as you cast, right? I believe so. It's whenever you cast your first spell. Well, that's whenever a spell's cast. <coughs> I, say I, I, I cast it. Cast. He negated it. So, I'm going to go for the top of your library again, Coop. Tremasara <coughs> Moondancer. Uh, hold on, I need to... That'll be two and two. And... There'll be a... Uh, 
Seven. Uh, what's Trinosaur? Two two. Whenever you gain life, put a one one counter on Trailosaur, <clears throat> Moon Dancer, and Scry one. We can leave her in exile. These are plus two, so that would be plus six overall. Ripley, flying, ten. Well, how big is it? Ten. Four. It's a ten four? Yes. I'll block it with my ten ten double strike. It doesn't have first strike, does it? No. Hold on a second. Uh, it just says flying and whenever an artifact creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may create a 1 1 blue thopter. That's a 10 4? Yeah, because the Blood Force battle axe just gives it plus 2 plus that. I have 3 of them. So my first strike would kill it, and mine would, would stay alive. But I have all these copies. So how many of them do you have? I have three of them. How big is it? The creature's dead now. Yeah, something. But he has hard. copies of it. Yeah, he's I've got copies. copies of Blood Force the Battle Axe. Oh. oh, okay. And he's got two one one. Flyers. I have two one one uh, thopters. Okay. So let's two. I will put. Ah. One onto it, and then another two. That is, uh, they will end up being, uh, three ones, two, three, one, thopters. Yeah. There's that. There's three of them, so I have to pay another. That's the one with two. Your turn, Joe. My stuff is I'm good. dead! Alright, I will tap two green, two colorless, a soaring for two more colorless. That's six. Everything is going to get plus one, plus one. Don't forget the drink at mage. Yeah. Two. It's also got a minus one, minus one counter on it. Um, then... It also has a minus one, minus one counter. Oh wait, no, I only needed... Yeah, I needed the two green. Okay, now I can tap this for a white and a green. And then <coughs> this... <laughs> For colorless to play Sigil of the Nine Gods, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each creature you control. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he gets plus six plus six. So he's a twenty-nine twenty-eight. Um they have hex proof, you can target them. Creatures you control have hex proof, yeah. Nice. Does that mean I can't target them? No, you can target them. If it was Shroud, you can't. Oh, okay. Um, so he's 25, 25. He's 29, 28. Um, I can also... No, I can't do the plus one, plus one again. Alright, so what do you have for flyers, Mike? 2-2, two, two, five, 5 double strike. Sure. <laughs> Fly? Yeah. 5-5 five, five, double strike? Yeah. What do you have for flyer, Sean? Uh... 2-3-1's correct. A... 1's... 
A31, the other's A51, because it has two of them on them. So one's a 3-1, one, one's a 5-1? One? Yeah, except I made two, and then I have the original. Um, so one's, one's a flying 5-1, one, the other's a 3-1 flying. Alright, so... I'm going to swing at you with two 5-6s flying. Two, five, so that's what, 10? Yeah. So they tap and untap, and then Mike, I'm going to swing at you with my... I'll block it with my king pinch. And then he untaps. And then I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Do I believe in the heart of the cards? Don't believe in the heart of the cards. One. Two. Play Vault Scourge. It's a 1 1 with lifelink and flying. Alright, so he's plus 26, plus 26. I gain a life. I'm going to... <coughs> Shit, I gotta pass my turn after that. Okay, on top. I hope you have a cyclonic rift in there. I don't think I put a cyclonic rift in that deck. I'll keep draw. Uh, My return is head on the forest. And then well, this goes back up to three. Tap four, three green. To put a weirding wood on this island. That triggers Rashmi and Ragavon. Triggers your guy too. And Adrix and Nev. And Academy Rector. So I did the. I'll be a three. I'll go for the top of your scoop. Spell Blast. Ooh, what's that do? Target spell is countered. X is casting cost of target spell. It's one blue plus X. But you can't play it right now. No, but I can leave an exile and ca cast now. I think it has to be during my turn. Damn. I'm going to have to stay in exile. Let me right? read that. Uh, then you may cast the exile up hand like that if it's... If it's what? If you don't cast this way, you may cast it this turn. This turn. Yeah, this turn. So if somebody plays something on your turn, you can counter it with that. Yeah. But it's got an X in the casting cost? Yeah, yeah. Where X is the CMC, I'm guessing. Yeah, the cost of the card you're counting. Yeah. So I have a hard countered something right now, but it's only during this turn. So if it doesn't get played, it'll <coughs> run the exile. I'll do it. One, two. So it's two red, so one, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, I think it's 17, Magma Quake for 17. Which does? 17 damage to all creatures and plane walkers without flying. Whee! Without flying? Without flying. So all my flying stuff is fine. Yo, yeah. that gets around hexproof. So this gets killed. Oh, including you too. And Rashmi yeah. gets killed. Everybody stay calm. That's fine, that's fine. You really had to take me out like that. I didn't. <laughs> I'll remember that. 
Your turn, Coop. Alright, on top. Innocent Ooze Tribal deck. On top, upkeep, draw. Land per turn is going to be a forest. So I have five forests. I'm going to use three forests, and I'll use a forest from this and a forest from this. I'll have one white floating. Um, and then I need one, two, three, four, five, six, because the Zorius chance Chancery counts as two. So four, six. I need two more mana. My solar. Everything's gonna get plus one plus one. I'm going to what do you have for flyers, Mike? Five five double strike one one lifelink. What do you have, Sean, for flyers? Five one three one. Um, I'm going to swing a six seven two six sevens at you, Sean. I'll double block one of the six sevens. So, so it'll be five and three. Eight. Which one are you blocking? The Stoke Angel or the Sahali of the Plenty? You're choosing. Sahili. That's that one gets over the hex proof. So what it dies? Yeah. These guys will die as well. My Thopters will die in greater service. Hopefully. And I have. Swinging at Ripley. Three copies with the of 28, that. the 32, 32, 31, and a 5, 6. Oh, block. Oh. I will block your 5. Sh All right, I'm blocking the big guy with oh, this guy. Passed, first off, so I gain pass. life off of that because he's got lifelink. Yeah. I'm blocking your commander oh. so they'll kill each other, but in response before mine dies... After the damage is dealt, I'm going to hoodwink, return target artifact, enchantment, or land to a owner's hand. I'm going to get the battle mastery back to my hand. And your commander will die. My commander will die as well. Completely forgot my uh, reclamation to untap my lands. After the damage is dealt and before it dies. So, you guys have already dealt the combat damage, so it gets to one tap. Yeah, because they're killed. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Anything else you got going? Nope. Untap, upkeep, draw. White, black, blue. Regular, first commander tax, second commander tax. Shroom. Is he flying? The hegemon, yes. That's what it said, that should be an extra four. What's coming <coughs> back this time? It's going to be the vault scourge. Is that flying? Yep, flying life like. Um, I'll pass. On top. A peep drum. Five. Seven. Eight. Did I do that properly? That's three, two, three, 
happen then. So that would be five. That would be seven. Because that taps two. So that's eight. Getting rid of four of my clues. Draw four. Wow. Wow. Three. Tireless tracker. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. Whenever you sack a clue, put a plus one plus one on it. Yeah, really. Three. Hedron Detonator. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, Hedron Detonator deals one damage to target opponent. Tap, sacrifice two artifacts, exile the top card of your <coughs> library. You may play that card this turn. Land per turn will be Frontier Biovac. Comes in tapped. I get eight. No. I investigate. Let's investigate. Yeah, create a clue. Get a clue. Your turn, clue. On tap. Draw. Yeah, in my end step, I get to untap because of wilderness reclamation. I'm going to tap one, two, three blue and one white to play Wonder. Then I'm going to use this card for a white and a green. And then a blue and a colorless to get Derevi back in. And then I can untap this. Um, now I have one green, two green. I have three green. Oh, wait. Go rid of that card. Okay. Uh, what do you got for flyers, Mike? You five, got, five, one, one. What do you got for flyers, Sean? Nothing. Um, I'm swinging at you for 30 flying. Or 32 flying. I'll die. And then Mike Ripley, I am swinging at you. How big's your commander? 5-5. Five, five. Swinging at you for 6-7 flying. I'll take the 6. And then I will pass. On tap. Oh, keep watch me draw a plane, sir. Wow, close. Swing. Accidentally put Rashman Ragamon in my graveyard. So on tap. Four. <coughs> Play Thistle Down Liege. Mm -hmm. Other white creatures I control get plus one, plus one, and other blue creatures I control get plus one, plus one. He's a white creature, and he's also a blue creature, so he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, white. And two colorless. Did you just cast that? Yeah. A white and two colorless. I'm going to put Battle Mastery onto Shroom. The Hegemon. He's a 7-7 seven, seven flying double strike. This is gonna work now. You can target him. Doesn't have hex proof. Another one bites the dust. I will pass. I will try to live as long as I can. Seven seven double strike. One time. Draw. I think you had enough life. Well, return's gonna be an island. This was my hand. Uh, 
So he's a, he's a double strike. strike. Still in shove and flying so when he blocks, you run in there. it would be 14. Yeah. So he would kill Not him. that much. Right. I'm going to swing at you with all of my flyers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, a, a 34, a 34, wow. 33, and a 6, 7. Might as well just swing out, right? Wonder. Wonder. Oh, and a 2, 2, yeah. One day, one. So, I'm going to block the 30, whatever the hell, with my Vault Scourge. Yeah. I'm going to gain a life. Uh, how much damage? 2. 2, uh, 8, 10. And everything untaps because of how oh. Derevi works. He still dealt combat damage because he killed a creature and then everyone deals. Yep. I think that's it for me. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the face of stumbling in there. <laughs> Yeah, this was kind of funny. <laughs> I'll tap four to play Core Brawler. This is a flyer. Should I two two in fact? No. I don't think it's gonna get you anywhere. I'm going to swing at you with a seven seven double strike. I'm gonna block it with Wonder. Okay. Is that it? I'll pass. All right, Wonder dies. Untap. Wonder in the graveyard. Draw. My favorite. What a game. Trava's Runes is a lair in addition to its other land type, and Trava's Runes come into play. Sacrifice it unless you return a non lair land. Okay, so. So you tap the land for mana before you return it to your hand. Tap right, the land. I tap it for mana, yeah. and then I return it to my hand. And I can play an additional land per turn so I can play. Um, That's. The, the, that's a sorcery. You can only do that that oh, one turn. okay. Shit, I don't know what. Oops. Uh, so, I'm swinging out at you. Yeah, GG. GG. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>